Okay, so our next job is to uh, remove the bellows. Um, as you can see, I've put the cover back on, it's just to protect it a bit more. And also, uh, if you remember, there was two screws holding down the roll holder thing here before. I took them out and I put them in from the other side and they come in here. Um, it's just to make it look nicer from the outside because uh, if you stick them through the back as they originally were, because of the thickness of the roll holder thing, um, they poked out big time here. So uh, I put them in the other way and that filled up the hole. Um, so yeah, removing the bellows. Um, after you remove the mask, you can see the bellows are kind of mounted under here. Um, I don't know if you can see, but there's light. Uh, you can probably, I don't know if you can see this, but um, there's a kind of, you can see the rim. If you stick a flathead screwdriver under there and just kind of gently pry all the way around, you can kind of remove it from the back. So uh, that's what I'll, I'll be doing now. And once you move that, it should all just pop forward and you can remove it from the front standard, which I'll do after I get this done. Okay, so uh, as you can see, I've removed it from the back and this popped forward. You can see this is kind of uh, kind of wool. There's this piece of string wool thing which kind of was supposed to, I guess, create a light seal between the bellows and the actual body. Um, that's kind of dead now. But um, also inside the bellows, there's this kind of thin metal uh, frame, which I guess is to kind of straighten and stiffen the area here so it meets the body. Uh, when you're trying to pry it out, don't well try to keep it straight as you can because uh, you'll be using that. So yeah, once that's out, um, you're trying to get the standard out, which from the standard end, you can see um, there's four screws holding the metal plate to the front of the lens thing, plastic chunk. So. Uh, Simple, remove them. Try to keep the screws because you'll need them to obviously mount back onto the new standard. Okay, so now that's done, you'll need some flathead screwdriver again and gently pry that off at the front here, as you can see. And there we go. Oh, this is the, the flash cable here, kind of connected. Um, you can just chop that off because you can easily replace this if you want to use flash um, or you can yeah, just chop it off at the top where it connects to the finder of the, the flash when you remove this. And you can just solder it back on later. But yeah, these, these are the bellows. Um, okay, so uh, now it's time to remove the lens and front standard here. So there's these caps which kind of cover up the mount. So flathead screwdriver, remove these two. All this kind of thing, it's just a screw holding it on. Keep that safe because you'll replace that once once you finish with this. And now inside here, you probably want to take a look at uh, how this works. But um, in here, you probably can't see. But uh, in here, there's a kind of a pin which stops this standard from falling all the way this way. And um, you can see it's not supported underneath, so also that's why it flops forward here. But uh, once you lock this in place, um, this bit here uh, gets locked against the focusing rail and it pushes up and locks the pin in place. It, it, if you look on your one, um, your own Polaroid, you'll be able to see it working pretty easily. And um, that pin is actually quite important for when we replace our standard 
because you'll be drilling two holes. The pivot pin, which is the back one here, so there's two holes. The pivot pin and the front one for the uh, kind of locking pin. So um, yeah, just make sure you see how that works and um, it will help you kind of line up the holes and stuff later. But anyway, I'll unlock this. Uh, this back pivot pin seems to be held on with a small slot head screw. Okay, um, as you can see, I've kind of looked around a bit, but um, I've took the front stand off. You don't actually need to do this. It was held on by four screws, uh, oh, actually three screws at the back. And uh, once you undo those three, this thing pops off, but you don't need to do this. Um, so basically, I was looking around how to get this thing off here. And to do so, get some pliers or something. And there's this kind of teardrop shaped thing with a spring stuck on it. Uh, try to rotate this round and get the spring off. Then you can keep rotating this. And um, this should come off. I've already done the other side. Oh, there you go. You don't have to be too careful with this because you're going to throw this away. So, uh, yeah, keep rotating this counterclockwise. And um, you should be able to undo it now. Springs in the way. The other side, I actually did this and um, the mercury battery fell out and it was leaking. So I kind of cracked my pants because I don't really want mercury all over the place. Uh, uh, well, I actually bust the screw. But anyway, uh, there you go. So that's your stand. You don't need this anymore throw it away and probably do not try to open up the battery compartment because it's, it's probably leaking if there was a battery in there and you don't really want leaking mercury batteries all over your house. So um, anyway, this is your basic frame now. You'll actually probably notice this is quite light, which is good. Uh, so next up you want to try to fabricate a, uh, a front standard and this thing should kind of start looking like a camera again.